today I thought that we would run a little experiment and see which cookie mix is the best. I love chocolate chip cookies and when I walk down the baking aisle I just see so many different cookie mixes that they have and I always wondered which one is actually good. There's such a selection. I thought that I would put that to the test. Let's do it. Now let's start on the cookie mixes. They all require one egg and a stick of butter. Square chocolate chips. Let's make one with all the cookie dough. Pillsbury chocolate chip cookie. Mix in some Nestle Toll House, some Annie's chocolate chunk, Betty Crocker, Ghirardelli, and Cresties. Bam! Giant cookie. Oh, look at that. The ultimate cookie. Let's try these Pillsbury cookies out. These kind of look like too perfect. Tons of chocolate chips on the outside. Super soft and chewy. The chocolate chips are super sweet. This just tastes like a super, super, super sweet cookie. Extra sugar. Having said that though, they taste pretty good. Out of five, I would give the looks a five. Out of 10, I would give the flavor an eight. Next cookie, Nestle Toll House. In the TV show Friends, Monica thinks these are the best tasting cookies in the world. The color of the cookie is a little bit pale. These cookies are like super flat. That's due to the fact that they put a lot of butter in the cookie. These have more of a doughy consistency than the Pillsbury cookie, which just tastes like straight up sugar. The chocolate chips also taste a lot better in this cookie than the Pillsbury one. I would say this one has a lot more depth and variety of flavor. For looks, I would give the cookie a three. Taste, I would give it a 9.5. Bring on the next cookie, Annie's Organic Chocolate Chunk Cookies. These are even thinner than the other cookies. For looks, I would give this cookie a four. Oh. Ah, this doesn't taste good at all. It tastes like those fake imitation flavors. It's super sweet and it kind of tastes like a diet cookie with imitation flavors inside of it. I'm thinking it's coming from the chocolate chips. Fake cookies make friends. I mean, you're not gonna make any friends eating these cookies. For flavor, I would give this cookie a two. It's not good. Next cookie, Betty Crocker's chocolate chip cookie mix. Slightly more yellow than golden brown. I would give the looks of this cookie a four. Mmm, the cookie is salty and the chocolate is sweet. It gives it a nice combination. It does have a little bit more of like a doughy flour taste, kind of just like the Nestle Toll House cookies. For flavor, I would give the cookie an 8.5. Check out the next cookie, Ghirardelli Dark Chocolate Chip Cookies. These look super nice. They have a lot more height, so that means that they have a lot more flour, baking soda inside. I would give the looks a four. These are super salty cookies, but that's really good because the chocolate has like a slightly sweet quality to it. I would give the flavor a nine. Final cookie time. Crusty's chocolate chunk. They look really good. They look like homemade cookies. I give the look a 4.5. It has a hint of salt. To be honest, this is like the best tasting one. It's slightly salty, sweet, but not too sweet. It actually has like substance to it. It actually tastes like a cookie, not just like I'm eating sugar. I think these cookies are a winner. I would give a 10 out of 10. In summary, the best tasting cookie is the Crusties cookie, followed by the Nestle Toll House cookie, the Ghirardelli cookie, the Betty Crocker cookie, the Pillsbury cookie, and finally, stay away from Annie's organic cookies. Bonus cookie time. So much is going on. 
It tastes really good. <laughs> Sweet, salty, all the flavors all mixed together. Oh, so good. This is the best way to eat the cookie. Mix them all together. In the comments below, write down which cookie mix is your favorite cookie mix to make. And let's start the vlog. In the TV show Friends, Monica thinks these are the best cookies. In the TV show Ghirardelli dark chocolate chip cookies. Ghirard it has more of a That's bad. It has more of a flower. I would say this one has a lot more depth. I would say this one has a lot more depth than I would say this one has a lot more depth and variety of flavor. <laughs> Smile. Smile. Give that Gatsby. Smile. Smile. Yeah. Gatsby, we're back from our trip from Salt Lake City, Utah. Yeah, did you have a good time, Gatsby? <laughs> but first off, I was just wondering if you could write down in the comments below what time you watch the vlogs. Like, what time is the most optimal time? Immediately when we post it, so anytime? Or do you guys watch it like after school, in the morning, before work? When do you watch it? It would be really helpful if you could write that in the comments below. Also, give this video a nice big thumbs up for Gatsby. Gatsby's derping hard. Before we fully start the vlog, I thought that I would share with you some footage that we took while we were back in Salt Lake City with my family. Check out that footage. I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll see you guys back here. Are you ready to go on a hike? Mountains. And we made it back. We're gonna have a very dirty corgi. Off, Gatsby. Yeah, you're a smart dog. <laughs> Time for your bath. As a treat, we got Gatsby a bone from the butcher. Especially for you, Gatsby. Today we are headed back to California. Got everything packed up. We are ready to go. Goodbye, home. Let's go. Back home, Gatsby.
I just realized that we have no dog food at home, so we gotta go and get some. You can call Tyrone. You ain't got to lie, Craig. What about my doggy doggy? You don't want my doggy doggy? You gonna make me call somebody? Little corgi dog, I think it's time to go. Little corgi dog. You know where it is. Gatsby's food. See you later. Bye. Gatsby's super excited. Super excited, huh? Yeah? Does that smell good? Okay. Hey, 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 you silly dog. Come on now, you gotta wait. Let me get a bowl for you. Mmm, yum. Since it's the first of the month, Gatsby gets his heartworm and his flea and tick medication. Down. Roll over. Good dog. And now it's time to do your nails, Gatsby. Are you the most handsomest dog in the world, Gatsby? Let's clean the apartment. I've converted my bedroom into a calendar shipping station with all these boxes under my bed. Over here, we also have all of our aquarium stuff at the same time. We've got shipping envelopes, we've got calendars, we've got everything ready to go. While I was gone, I had my friends shipping them out. While I'm back home, I'm gonna be shipping a lot of them out myself. Let's print out this order from James from Australia. Here it comes. The label prints out. They ordered one of the limited edition sign calendars over here. Super bumpy because it's Gatsby's actual paw print there. We have a thank you letter here. Inside. And we stick the label on. Just gotta fulfill the rest of the orders and we can send them to the post office. And make sure if you wanna get your Corgi on Fleek calendar, you can go to corgionfleek.com. Since it's December, I'll show you guys February's picture. <laughs> Here it is. Ooh. Gatsby and his girlfriend Tembi in scarves in the snow. This picture was also incredibly difficult to take. We actually drove to a Redwood Forest Park and we had to make some fake snow. The dogs were reacting way too much to the snow so what we ended up doing is making this a composite shot. So there we go, Gatsby and his girlfriend Tembi. And they decided to extend the Black Friday Cyber Monday sale. So if you haven't been able to get it, make sure to check it out soon. It's a really, really great deal. And you can make sure to get these as holiday gifts for your friends and family. So right now, I'm just gonna finish fulfilling all the orders we had today. Someone ordered seven calendars here. Nice. For the super large orders, I actually have to weigh them in order to generate the shipping label. I thought I would share with you a little bit of information about the aquarium. While I was gone, I was having Sean take care of it. He did a really, really good job. However, I did notice that I did make a huge mistake um, in calculating how much he was supposed to dose because I just gave him instructions. He followed the instructions perfectly. So the aquarium is actually not looking that good. He has super brown sand everywhere. In the back, you can see some dead candy cane coral skeletons and the scoli does not look happy. I'm gonna have to do some TLC, but I will do that in the next vlog. Okay, I'm headed off to the gym to hit some legs for the first time in a really long time. I feel a little weak, so hopefully I'll be able to make it through the workout. I'm also gonna stop off at the post office to mail all the calendars that I shipped, and we're gonna stop off at the grocery store to pick up some ingredients. See you at the gym. <laughs> oh. Now we're gonna head off to the supermarket. Gotta get all of the chocolate chip cookie mixes to make for later in the vlog. And I already probably showed you guys what I did, but don't let me know because it's in the future. Gotta get some chips. Roma tomatoes. One jalapeno. Cilantro. Onion. Can you guess what I'm making? Welcome. Please scan your first item. 
Okay, now off to the post office. Can check that off my list. Another thing that I got for Black Friday? Oh, a Vitamix blender. It comes with a nice recipe book over here. So I thought that I would try this California salsa. Let's try making it. One onion. Seed, one jalapeno. We need a quarter cup of cilantro. I love cilantro. I know a lot of people hate it. Do you like cilantro? In the comments below, write down if you like it or you can't stand it. We'll see which one prevails. One teaspoon of fresh lime juice. Yeah, and about half a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna slice six Roma tomatoes into quarters. Bam! And now we stick six of the quarters into the blender here. Turn on the Vitamix. Next, open the top. Add the remaining tomatoes. Pulse five more times. Ooh. It's very mild. It's super fresh and super healthy. And then to clean it, all you do is fill this up with a little bit of water, stick some drops of dishwashing soap inside, and turn it on. Ooh, there we go. Oh man, I'm all cookied out. Too many cookies. Since we got back, we still haven't seen any of the Christmas lights. You want to see it, Gatsby? Would you like to go on a Christmas walk? Super glossy. It's a photo Gatsby. Look at that. In the bathroom, I think we can replace this one. Let's check out what it looks like. Ooh, looks beautiful. Okay, I just posted a video on Gatsby's channel. If you guys didn't know, Gatsby has a channel, Great Gatsby Corgi, or you can just type in Corgi on YouTube and you'll find it. It is a Corgi hide and seek video compilation. So if you guys really enjoyed Gatsby's hide and seek video, this is like one with all the hide and seeks in one video, so you can enjoy that and share it with all your friends. Make sure to do that. Ugh. Hey. What? Are you happy to be home? <laughs> yeah? Corgi Road? <laughs> Corgi Road? <laughs> Corgi? <laughs> nice. <gasps> ah. <laughs> Corgis are known to be super vocal dogs. Can you tell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting super exhausted, but if you guys enjoyed today's vlog, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please, please do it. Apparently, YouTube is changing their algorithm, so thumbs up means a lot more nowadays. But other than that, make sure to check out our calendars as well, corgionfleek.com. And I have only one more thing to do on the, on the list of things to do. Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys in the next vlog.